All right. So we got something special going on this week. Go below. Check out the link below. Serious sale. You want to get in on it quickly? Go below. This is going on for 24 hours. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This has been going on for a very long time. And this is first time I'm going to talk about it. YouTube hate. One of the things that I consistently see in the comments is someone to come in with, well, you're going to be running ragged once that YouTube money run out. Or, you know, this consistent hate for having a level of success on YouTube. And this is something I've been getting for years. I've been getting this for years. Literally, whenever I would start a new channel, I would have people who would follow me and like, oh, this channel isn't as successful as your other channel. Therefore, you're a buster. And, you know, I, I kind of give you an idea of the YouTube hate. There was someone who's been watching this YouTube channel for a long time, and he made a comment that I identified as hate, and he got blocked and deleted. So he sends me this crazy email, and th this, this individual is in the same financial position they were in for years and years and years. And you want to know why they're in the same financial position? They don't want to do the work. They just don't. So consistently, and I get this notion that once again, shout out to the nerd tribe, the nerd tribe, shout out to the nerd gang. Um, this is something I, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Years and years ago, I went to Daryl E's Vid Summit for the first time. This was maybe 2014, I think. And I got there and it was really exciting to be around a bunch of YouTube creators and got to meet a lot of good people. And I, like many of you, was under this, um, let's see, this knowledge base that YouTubers make a lot of money. So I was gotten there and it really hit me on the third vid summit that I went to. It really hit me hard because I was making 40, 50,000 a month consistently back then. And I would go out and you would meet a YouTuber and you would talk to people. Also going to vid summit, these YouTube meet is a great way to get affiliate, uh, not affiliate marketing, but to do collabs. You meet a YouTuber, you talk to them, and then you can go ahead and sub to collab. Awesome way to sub collapse. And I remember it was about 2017. I went to Vid Summit and it was just, you know, it was really popular. There was a lot of people. I was talking, chatting. And at some point, as a YouTuber, the conversation always comes to money. And at this time, my YouTube channel was like 55,000 subscribers. And I remember I was sitting next to this girl who. Her channel was at 1.6 million then. And we're just talking about the money. And she says, oh, I make like, you know, 7,000 a month from YouTube. I was like, oh, that's great. And she's like, how much you make? And, you know, it, it's a kind of a twisted question for me because I use YouTube to make money, but YouTube doesn't pay me this kind of money. And I said, I generally do 40 to 50,000 per month. And she looked at me and she's like, what's your channel? And she saw my channel and I saw her eyes go wide. She's like, your channel is really small. And I said, yeah. And this is something that I consistently found out with talking to multiple YouTubers, multiple YouTubers. Apparently, I was one of the first people to get in on using YouTube other than for AdSense, YouTube is an incredibly remarkable platform to make money. Um, in that year at VidSummit, it just really showed me that the average person who comes to YouTube doesn't have a full understanding of how to use YouTube. I, I give, I'll give you another story. And this is a credit card that I used to promote 
but um, <laughs> I don't promote it anymore because I think it's trash. It's the Divi uh, charge card. Um, signed up for Divi, reached out to the folks, got set up. I made over $100,000 promoting that credit card. And one of the things that people don't understand is, you know, how to build a YouTube channel. That, that, that right there is one of the biggest things you need to understand about YouTube. But I see a lot of people who will come to my YouTube channel and literally follow me around because here's the thing. Once again, when I first started on YouTube, I had no clue to what I was doing. No clue whatsoever. Now, at this point, I have a very strong clue to YouTube. I have a really good idea of how to do YouTube where the average YouTuber doesn't. And there's like 100 million YouTube channels. 100 million. And out of that 100 million, only 10 million of those YouTube channels have 1,000 subscribers or more. Now, this is where it gets real dicey. When you get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to tell you why that's really not that important. Um, it goes down to 362,000 YouTube channels. But I, I know so many people who do YouTube. I know a guy who has 10,000 subscribers. He makes half a million a year. So there's a new awakening. There's a new awareness of how to use YouTube to make money that I just pretty much discovered my first year of YouTube. My first year of YouTube, the YouTube channel wasn't monetized by YouTube. And the second year of YouTube, the channel wasn't monetized. I made 62000 my first year. I made 92000 my second year because I understand the power of YouTube. Now, back then, I was more diligent. I was more persistent. I stayed on point. And then when I started adding more content, and this is one of the reasons that I got rid of all of the videos, because there are many people who keep asking for the videos. And let me go ahead and share something with you. You folks who keep asking for the videos, uh, simply there's not enough of y'all to make it worth my while, because when those videos were up, uh, I'll give you Good example, like literally when I restarted this channel 11 days ago, uh, I got 100,000 views off of like 10 videos, 100,000 views. Now, let's go back to the old YouTube when I was posting literally sometimes twice a day. Uh, those videos would get 1,000 to maybe 1,600 views. And once again, this is something that I am really know, because once again, th this was a plan because um, one of the things that happened is this YouTube channel from a YouTube perspective going forward based upon the new metrics. I have a new uh, I have the same audience, but I have a lot of new people and we'll be doing about five to seven thousand a month just from YouTube earnings. Uh, I'll probably make more money. October, November, and December than I, all, I did all the whole year of 2023. So there's an understanding, but one of the things is there, there's a lot of hate. Uh, one of the things that I just love, and I, I, I really don't do it because it's just pointless, but when I get what I call a failed YouTuber, someone who's had a YouTube channel for four, five, six, seven years, and they only have two or 3,000 subscribers, and then they want to come in the comments talking stuff, being rough, and, oh, yeah, you know, you're a scammer and all this other stuff. There are many people who are stupid. Let me just go ahead and say it's stupid. That feel that if you're successful, there has to be some kind of hack or you've cheated, or you got blessed, or there's there, there's something. And it, it, it cracks me up how many folks are extremely jealous of successful YouTubers. Now, I would consider myself a successful YouTuber because of the money I make, but there are many YouTubers out there, uh, and this is one of the reasons. Like, when I move, you won't be able to find my house. Uh, I have set up a whole new corporation for that. You will not be able to find my house. You won't know where I will live. And th th this is something else, too. If you've noticed, I don't really share as much information as I used to. I get 
constant questions about this thing in my personal life, that thing. And I just ignore them or I delete them and block them. Because one of the things that you have to do, and this is advice to you if you start a YouTube channel, keep your private life private. Because uh, I heard something, I need to hit him up because I'm telling him, be careful with saying these kind of things. Um, but yeah, once again, uh, like when I move, you will not see my house. I will like this. This is stupid stuff that I did. I, I had no clue that I had no clue about the hate. I knew there were people who did not like me, but I didn't know there were people who hated me. And one of the things that I see is like there's this lie that I've been arrested and there's these other lies that go on because here's the thing. When you're successful and you're doing well and you're making money, you have a lot of people who will hate you. And I didn't understand that like I understand it now. I didn't understand it, but I understand it now. And then all of these folks, like literally uh, since the revamp of the channel, um, I've got a lot of new people coming in and they're asking questions. And like, let me go ahead and say this. We're not friends. I am not your friend. So do not be putting in the comments asking me questions like we boys. That cracks me up because sometimes I will just delete stuff uh, when I see it because it's crazy. And then another thing that I see is the number of people who try to do YouTube, who try to be successful at YouTube, and they'll try for years and years and years and years, and they just can't make a go of it. Number one, this is the lack of education. These folks will like, there are so many people selling uh, Daryl Lee's, um, think if not, let's see. What is it? Um, there's so many people who are selling what I would call competent YouTube advice and people will not buy it. They will. This is what people do. They will watch all of these videos. And you know, one of the favorite videos on YouTube monetize YouTube videos like I just got monetized. And every time I see one of those videos, I start cracking up because I'm about to share some with you. I made more money last night that most of these people will make in a year on YouTube. Uh, AdSense is the most inconsistent, the most flaky, flightiest form of income that you can make from YouTube. But this is what people crave for. And this is why I laugh at these YouTube automations because let me go ahead and say this and let me be real clear. If you are really good at being a creator and you're really good at knowing how to sub YouTube channels, you could create automated, essentially you become a, a production studio, you become a film studio. And if you're really good at it, you can make a lot of money if you're really good at it, but see, that's the key. You have to be good at it. You have to be really, really good at it because you know who makes the most money on YouTube? Those 362,000 people. They make the most YouTube money. They make the most AdSense money. They make the most affiliate money. And, you know, unless you're just really, really smart, you study your craft and you do these things. But once again, I have so many haters. And, you know, once again, I can just kind of go back in my mind and realize all the dumb things I did. Like one of the dumb things I did. And this is why I got rid of the disruptive male channels. I actually put actual pictures of the women that I was seeing. B big mistake, big mistake, big mistake. Because see, shout out to the credit plug because he, he left a comment and it, I agree with it because essentially when you see someone who looks like you, who's really, really successful, it kind of throws you. It kind of throws you. And um, one of the things that I, I just learned, fortunately, uh, a lot of these women that I was dealing with did not have big social media presence, so they were pretty hard to find. But that's a mistake that I will never do again. I will never put that out again, because at that point, I started getting these comments on Disruptive Mail. 
why would she mess with someone that looked like you? And the, the jealousy, the jealousy is ridiculous. And this is why I said so many men are moist and very feminine because they're extremely jealous. And one of the things that I consistently saw as I was putting out proof of receipts, and this is why I'm not putting out no more receipts, no more bank accounts, none of this other stuff, is the more receipts that I put out, the more hate that I got. And literally, I have, um, I call them pest, who would literally follow me around from YouTube to YouTube channel saying, oh, you're not going to be successful if you didn't have that big channel, blah, 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 blah. I'm just sitting there like, hate is a full-time occupation because uh, there are some pests who literally, and like one, I let him, I ripped it because, you know, this is something else that's huge too. This is really huge. The number of people who hate on me working and being successful. Essentially, they will come in and leave their little pesky, little hate-filled comments because I'm going to say it. They don't want to do the work. They just don't want to do the work. Because uh, I remember when I first started YouTube, I was working... 12, 14 hours a day because that was so complicated and the tools and I didn't have all the right tools and everything. And the thing is, we have a nation and there will be a video coming up talking about this because right now, take the number of people. Uh, I actually talked to uh, the concierge and he actually told me they evicted 50 people out this building, 50. And Essentially, I kind of understand what happened. You have people who want to live a certain lifestyle and they will get they will cheat like with the CPN or uh, they will hack. They would lie. They would do whatever they can to get that lifestyle versus actually doing the real work. They don't want to do that. And you got a lot of people who will see someone online who's doing really, really well. And then they figure out that they can really do it because here's the thing. And I want I want you to take this any way you can take it. I am not like you. I am not lazy. I have a great work ethic. I will do the work. I will stick with things and I will try and try and try and fail and fail and fail until I get it right. You won't do that. And that's one of the reasons you're broke. That's one of the reasons you're a hater. That's one of the reasons that I get so much hate and I should have. I kind of knew that this was going to come once I restarted the channel. And, you know, <clears throat> one of the things that I have learned and I have so much YouTube knowledge that's mind blowing because I have proof. And I'm going to say this. YouTube treats black content creators different than white content creators. I actually have concrete proof on that because I created a channel where I didn't show my face. And the, th the recommendations and things I got pushed were totally different. Like one of the things uh, the other day, I had to go through here and clean up the channel because I got I was getting recommended all kinds of black bullshit. And I was just sitting there like, so, yeah, if you're a black content creator, you're going to get treated very different on YouTube unless you do some things very differently. And this is some stuff that's going to come up in the YouTube training that I'm going to start probably because I'm, I'm getting ready to redo all of the YouTube training. And let me go ahead and say this for all the folks so you don't be emailing me and leaving me comments. If you were in the YouTube program or you're in the current program, you're going to get the new training. Do not be messaging me. Do not be emailing me. Oh, and this is something else. Every time I do something new, I get a whole bunch of people. Let me, let me go ahead and say this. If you got up for a hustle camp, which started in 2014, and you're still after me, like, once again, look, uh, I'm getting ready to do a lot of new and different stuff. And if you want to be part of it, you're going to have to pay for it. Just, you're going to have to pay for it. You don't want to pay for it? That's cool. You just won't get access to this new training because I can tell you from personal experience I know things about YouTube that other content creators have no clue about. They have no clue about. And this is going to be uh, a pretty much a flagship program 
that I'm going to launch probably November because I can't do it this month. I got too much going on, but we're going to get into it. We're going to be talking about it because once again, I have to be careful. I have made millions of dollars from YouTube millions. I'm not going to tell you the exact number because at that point, that's when the hate parade begins. Because one of the things I've learned is I got to be careful with the things I say and the things I put out and how I do it. But like I said, with the Porsche video, there will be no more showing of receipts. There'll be no proving anything because also I have learned how to get a different audience took me a lot of trial and error because this kind of gets back into the deep YouTube stuff that I've done because I've been doing YouTube for 14, 15 years. So my knowledge base is was deeper than I thought because I knew certain things and I've learned how to get around certain things. And with this hate, uh, I can already tell you that there's there's things planned for the future where I won't even be dealing with this. I won't even be dealing with this because this channel has taught me so much. It's taught me so much in terms of dealing with hate and the number of men who are unsuccessful in life, the number of men who don't have a work ethic, the number of men who are uneducated and the number of men who come in and just keep hating and keep hating and keep hating and keep hating. And keep hating. Let me go ahead and say this. You don't hate me. I've done nothing to you. You hate yourself. You hate yourself for being a bum, for being a loser, for not trying hard enough and not having success. That's who you hate. You hate yourself for being a poser. And when you see someone like me, and also let's talk about how I got started. You know, when I lived in that boarding house, that was 20 21, 22, 20, almost 23 years ago. And there are people on here be talking about, oh, yeah, you, you used to live in the boarding house. And, you know, when I drove for Uber, I drove for Uber to write a, a book. I, I spelled that out pretty differently. And it's like, he used to drive for Uber. And he's talking about all these Uber drivers. It's hilarious. But see, th this is one of the things. And this is, you actually... Well, before I got rid of the videos, you could see documented evidence of my progression. You could see it. You could see me getting better and better and better and better and better. And this next house, if you could see it, it'd blow your mind. But, you know, we ain't going to do that because you ain't going to see it. I am not putting up nothing online. And I had to go through a few changes to make sure that you cannot find out where I live and all this other stuff. I had to do a lot of research and everything. And I said, oh, OK, this is why my address is online. This is what won't be happening this time, baby. Won't be happening this time. Because once again, I'm not like you. I wasn't raised like you. I actually was raised in somewhat of a nuclear family. I know right from wrong. But one of the things that you guys consistently get wrong is this thought process that you're going to be successful without hard work. This is one of the biggest things I see. This is one. Of the, this is why people get pulled into what I call this fake um, stuff that just happens. It, it, it's kind of crazy, but. You know, and also another thing, I got people, well, why does he have this, how do they let him have a successful YouTube channel? And that cracks me up. How do they let him? It ain't about anybody letting me. I don't ask for anyone's permission to be successful. I just go out here and grab my success. So, you know, once again, failed men. It's the failed men. And when I did that disruptive male stuff, and when I was showing men with no courage, no confidence, that I was getting beautiful women. Oh, my God. That that right there. That was another thing. And uh, rest in peace, Alan. Roger, we talked about that a few times. And Alan told me he was getting a lot of hate because he was able to get these women. And, you know, other folks couldn't get these women. But once again, um, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. 
and we're back to deleting comments every day. You know, I went through a period where I didn't have to delete no comments. Now I'm deleting about 40, 50 a day. It's, but once again, dealing with the hate is part of the process, it's part of the system, it's part of the things that is happening. It is what it is. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.